up on Gangnam Style. Hey guys, Chris Rush here from Tap and Sack. Uh, back with another deck tech. This is Alex Clark's uh, blue red combo for standard. Um, it's his deck, like I said, but he's kind of busy, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock it out for him before we get to the matches. Um, the, I'll go over the lands real quick. Nothing really special. Um, eight mountains, ten islands, uh, two desolate lighthouse for dig. And, I mean, pretty standard. Four evolving wilds. Um, we, we're new to MTGO, so obviously he'd want four sulfur falls here, I assume. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know if he would cut the evolving wilds for that, or, you know, how he would do it per se. I'd probably just cut the evolving wilds, I guess. But, other than that, that's pretty much nothing special. Desolate is there for draw a card, discard, like I said. Um, for his dig and draw, he's got uh, two amass the components. Um, draw three cards for four. Not bad. You gotta put one on the bottom of your library but I guess that's okay. Uh, he runs four Ponder, standard blue. You know, you run Islands, you run Ponder. Uh, four Faithless Looting, which draw two, discard two. Pretty easy. Uh, his Disruption and Removals package over here is uh, two Slagstorm and three Whip Flare. Uh, a lot of aggro decks now, or most of the decks, are running nothing higher than two power creatures for some reason. And uh, this just helps him stall, clear the whole board until he can get his combo off. Uh, same thing with Mana Leak. Disrupt their big spell or maybe disrupt their disruptor from his combo. Um, but yeah, Mana Leak, standard blue card as well. Sweet looking promos though. Um, that I also drew, if you didn't notice. Christopher Rush, bottom of that picture. Um, but uh, anyway, okay. So here's his combo. This is the only real five relevant cards. Really just these three. Um, you have Deceiver Exarch, which from the old Splinter Twin combo, everyone should remember. It uh, enters the battlefield, taps or taps target permanent you control or untaps. I mean untaps target permanent you control or taps target permanent and opponent controls. So uh, it's pretty good. You know, you untap this guy with Splinter Twin on it and keep doing that. That was the old combo. Garbage. Um, you have Dead Eye Navigator, which is the Soul Bond. Um, as long as Dead Eye Navigator is paired with another creature, each of those creatures has one colorless, one blue. Exile this creature, then return it to the battlefield under your control. Basically, lets you blink over and over again. Uh, pretty easy. Um, so, and then he has the Gilded Lotus, which is uh, a five-drop artifact. Add three mana of any one color to your mana pool. And, you know, it taps automatically because it's an artifact. So, basically, this is his infinite mana combo. It, uh, it lets him soul bond his Deceiver Exarch. Um, pay two to blink him. He enters the battlefield. And he untaps this Gilded Lotus that taps for any three mana. Uh, he soul bonds again because it entered the battlefield. And then he will tap this for three mana. Uh, a blue, three blue, I guess, and it'll leave him one extra, and then he'll blink it again, and etc. Keep doing so until those one extra manas add up, and then finally, he'll go to his bomb. With the the last time he taps it, he will add three red. And uh, devil's play, either from his hand or from the graveyard with the faithless looting that he used or desolate lighthouse, and uh, burn you out of the game. So it it's not bad theory. It uh it does go infinite mana. It takes a while, which uh, most people don't know this combo online. So once they see it, um, they will actually make you do it if you try this online and make you time out. But if you're just playing F and M or something, you can just explain the combo. Um. But yeah, the um with faithless looting also and desolate lighthouse, he doesn't care to throw these away, which is why he has. Faithless is pretty good in this deck. Um, and he could throw away another Faithless as the flashback. So it's not that big a deal. It works from the graveyard or in the hand. Um, but that's pretty much the combo for the uh, insta-kill. 
unless they disrupt you somehow. Um, I O ring. You basically have to destroy this Gilded Lotus. His five drop, five turn, whatever, and that slows him down a lot. But uh, I've I've let it resolve before just to see what would happen, and he uh, would flash into Seaver Exarch off of this guy. Next turn, uh, Dead Eye Navigator uh, for six mana. And then the Gilded Lotus untaps, and there's the infinite combo. Like, you can't really stop it once you let him untap with the Deceiver and this guy on the field. So, it's just, you know, kind of iffy. Hard to get to sometimes, but once it's there, it's there's nothing you can do about it. The only thing I've also done is uh, when they go to blink their creature, um, they'll target to blink. They'll shoot out or whatever, I guess. And then you just Doom Blade their guy. Or, you know, kill their other creature. Before this untaps. So, that's pretty much the only way I can think of it. But then again, I don't even know if that would work that well. I don't know if you can respond to them leaving. Or, enter, or it has to be just enter. I don't know. So, you're pretty much screwed. We'll say that. Just kill the thing before it gets there. Um, he, he also has three Zealous Conscripts, which are just a win more, basically. Uh, he can also combo off with the Dead Eye Navigator. So he's like turn five, steal something, you know, maybe swing in some damage. Turn six here, uh, Dead Eye Navigator, Soul Bond, and then next turn, if, I mean, it's a f far stretch, but he can just steal all your stuff and then kill you. I mean, yeah, just an extra win condition, I guess. Uh, sideboard, not much here, because like I said, we just started, so there's not much. So I just threw in a uh, Devil's Play, another Zealous, two more mass components, uh, Manic Vandal. If you can dead eye Manic Vandal against, uh, I mean Timber Steel's not really around, but it's good for Infect if you can want, need to get their Ink Moss, I guess. But uh, that's like a worst case scenario card. I put in two Incinerates, a Grim Lava Mancer for Delver, Gut Shots for Delver, Shock for Delver, and Infect. Uh, an extra Negate, just a hard counter, and a Flash Freeze in case like a Wolf Run or something comes around. But yeah, that's pretty much it. He'll probably, he'll probably redo all this whole sideboard, so it's nothing much. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what he's going to be battling with tonight. Um, minus the sideboard might have a few more changes, but yeah, hope you like it. Let us know. All right. See ya.